Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. Here is an overview of the new features of Eugene versions 1.18 and 1.19. Data opening in Eugene became much easier. Along with the dragging the file into the Eugene window, you can now paste data into the project view and it will be opened in Eugene ready at hand. It not only works with files, but also with text data. Let's copy a part of the sequence from a web browser and paste it into Eugene. The temporary document is created and the data can be manipulated without any extra moves. Note that the text can be pasted in any formats supported by Eugene. Since Eugene version 1.17, you can copy a sub-alignment in different formats. Since 1.19 version, you can copy it in a rich text format that retains the highlighting of the alignment. As you can see, the characters are coloured just like they were in Eugene. Setting the reference sequence to an assembly has also become easier. Ensure that no sequence object is selected in the project view, click the Set Reference button on the toolbar, and select the reference sequence from a file. If you already have the reference sequence open in Eugene, Simply select it in the project view and click the button. The bunch of changes affect the sequence view and analysis of a sequence. Let's have a look at them. A PCR product can now be extracted with annotations of the DNA sequence. This feature can be configured using the Extract Annotations option on the In Silico PCR tab. To get annotations that are fully located inside the extracted region, choose the Inner option. The All Intersected option also adds cutted annotations that intersect the product into the results. Another minor improvement makes it easier to see if the sequence is circular. The icon near the sequence object in the project view is different for linear and circular sequences. Please remember that you can mark a sequence as circular or linear using the context menu in the project view. The exporting of a sequence has become more flexible. Now you can choose what region and view of the sequence to export. The currently viewed option gives you the screenshot of the open sequence views as they are. You can export the rows of annotations choosing the zoomed annotations option. And finally, the sequence details option allows you to export a sequence region in a way that it's displayed here in the program. For example, we are interested in the region from position 11,200 to 11,500. Select the region and open the Export Sequence dialog. Choose the desired type of view. Let's check Sequence Details. Here you can change the desired region. As a result, we have here the line of the selected region. As you have already possibly noticed, the sequence view overall appearance has changed a bit. The sequence header toolbar now contains only those actions that deal with the whole sequence and its appearance. Here you can show and hide all the available subviews. Each subview on the other hand now has its own toolbar on the left side with the actions that correspond to the subview. For example, the translation button is now located on the detailed view toolbar. We hope that this will improve your experience of using Eugene. Thank you for watching this podcast.